Imagine sending cold emails and getting results like this. A 4.7 reply rate and almost $400,000 worth of opportunities from a single cold outbound campaign. It might sound impossible, but you're wrong. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. For those who don't know me, I'm Clarence and I specialize in automated cold outreach systems. I've personally scaled my lead generation agency from scratch to $80,000 per month, leveraging nothing but AI driven cold emails. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain on exactly how I achieve results like these. In this video, I'll walk you through the exact workflow I use every day to automatically write personalized opening lines for my cold emails directly from LinkedIn posts. This method has been the single most powerful tactic for making my outreach hyper relevant, resulting in consistently high response rates. The good news is that you don't have to build this workflow yourself. I share this exact automation along with plug and play snippets and other proven workflows inside my scaling system society. If you're serious about mastering cold outreach or scaling your business through reliable outbound strategies, you'll definitely want to check it out. The link is in the description below. Now let's dive straight into the workflow. The goal here is simple. We're automating hyper-personalized cold email outreach using content directly from LinkedIn. Rather than sending generic emails that prospects immediately ignore, we're taking the time-consuming personalization step and automating it, allowing you to achieve deep personalization at massive scale. The major benefit here is straightforward. When your emails reference something personal, recent, and directly relevant to your prospect, response rates skyrocket. Prospects feel you've genuinely taken the time to understand them, making them far more likely to engage to your outreach. This approach is exactly why I've been able to consistently achieve high reply rates, book meetings effortlessly, and generate significant opportunities with cold outreach. Let's jump into exactly how this workflow achieves that. So the first note in our workflow is called a webhook note. The note is essentially the entry point or the trigger for our automation. Right now it is turned off because we're just showcasing it. But normally this is where the workflow would start. Whenever I update the status of a lead in Airtable, which is my CRM, say marking a lead as ready for outreach, Airtable automatically sends a small piece of information called a record ID to this webhook. Think of a record ID as a unique identifier that tells the automation exactly which lead we're going to personalize the email for. This means the moment I decide someone is ready for outreach, the workflow immediately knows exactly which person's details it needs to pull next, keeping everything smooth and automated from start to finish. So the next step obviously being to pull the lead from the Airtable node, meaning I collect all of the information that I have on the lead. Normally this node would use the record ID provided by a webhook to instantly pull in all the essential details we need about our lead, things like their name, the company they work at, their LinkedIn profile URL, and other relevant details that I already scraped. But because the webhook is currently off, since I'm manually demonstrating this workflow for you, we're just using static input right now, meaning I've pasted the record ID manually, as you can see. The key thing to understand here is that this step gives us immediate access to all the information we need about the lead, which we then use later in our workflow to enrich their data and create hyper-personalized emails automatically. This is crucial because personalization at scale is exactly what makes this method so powerful and effective. Next up, we have the scrape personal post note, which is just a HTTP request note. This is where the magic of data enrichment truly begins. In this step, we're using a tool called Apify, specifically the LinkedIn scraper available through Apify's platform to pull the latest LinkedIn post directly from the lead's personal profile. What is great about this specific scraper is that it doesn't require any cookies, meaning you can scrape LinkedIn without worrying about getting flagged or banned. It's completely safe and reliable. Once you've configured your scraper settings in Apify, which you can see is very little, there are very little things to do. You can press on JSON, copy this JSON code and go back to N8N. In N8N, you open the HTTP node, you paste the JSON code you just copied down here, and you also have to paste the endpoint URL, which is also on the 
uh, Apify Scraper web page. The output we get from this step is structured JSON data containing detailed information about each LinkedIn post. It contains the text. It contains if it's a repost, yes or no, the image URL, and a lot of unnecessary redundant stuff as well, but we'll filter that out later on. We'll be using these posts. As you can see, there are five items. So there are five posts to automatically generate hyper-personalized opening lines for or cold emails. This will significantly boost your engagement rate. In the next step, the workflow checks if the LinkedIn scraper found any post from the lead's personal profile. All it does is look at the JSON data we got from the previous scraper node and checks if it's empty or if it actually contains posts. If there are posts available, the entire data set moves forward to the next step. But if the scraper found no posts at all, this node outputs a clear signal, literally a message stating no posts. This allows us to use this result as a decision point in the next node, the if node, where the workflow automatically determines what to do next based on whether posts were found or not. This simple check helps us make sure we're never trying to create email personalizations from empty data because that would just look silly and would probably get you marked as spam. In this if note, we face a critical decision whether the lead has any recent personal LinkedIn posts we can use. Not everyone is equally active on LinkedIn. Many people rarely post anything themselves, so relying exclusively on personal posts for email personalization isn't very realistic. We need a solid backup plan. That is why this if note checks the output from our previous step, the verify posts availability. If the lead has any personal posts available, we continue down the original path. So you can see it marked in green to craft hyper-personalized emails using their own content. But if there aren't any personal posts, which happens quite frequently, we automatically switch to our backup plan, scraping posts from the lead's company LinkedIn page instead. Company pages usually have recent updates, news or announcements we can leverage for personalization. This ensures we can almost always find something relevant to include significantly boosting our response rates. First, we're following the green path in this next code node. In this step, we're preparing the data we've collected so far to make it easy for AI to handle. When we scrape LinkedIn post using the scraper, the scraper outputs each post as a separate individual item. As I showed you earlier, there were five items. Working with individual items can quickly become messy and inefficient, especially when feeding data into a LLM, a large language model. That is why we have this crucial code node I called filter text and turn them into one. What this node does is straightforward, but extremely important. It filters out reposts, keeping only the original content created by our lead because reposts are generally irrelevant for personalization because they're not actually written by the lead themselves and including them would confuse the LLM. Besides filtering for reposts, we also filter everything that is irrelevant, almost everything besides the post. So on the left side, you can see the post scraper included a lot of stuff, like the amount of likes, if it is public, yes or no, hashtags, things like that. And on the right side, you can see the combined text. So all of the text from the five posts, because all of these five posts weren't reposts, and you can see them split by the words new post. So if you pause the video, you can check that there are actually five LinkedIn posts inside of this combined text. Now that we have a singular combined text string, we can move on to the next node, which is the LLM node, which will craft the personalization based on one of the posts. To state the obvious, I've called this node write personalization, but it's just a simple basic chat GPT node, which will analyze all of the incoming posts, which it has access to as input and will craft me a personalized line. Let me quickly go over how it works. We feed the node the lead's name and their company, along with the consolidated LinkedIn post text we just prepared in the previous code node. Using this input, the AI scans through all the posts to find the most relevant one, specifically looking for mentions of the lead's name company or notable achievements. Let me quickly go over the exact prompt. So you're an expert in personalized B2B cold email outreach. Given the LinkedIn posts provided separately, 
identify the most relevant one, focusing on mentions of the prospect's name, company, or noteworthy achievements, and complete the following sentence in a concise, engaging, and conversational tone to use as an email opener. Came across your post on LinkedIn, dot, dot, dot. So that is the part that needs to be filled in by the AI. Provide only the completed sentence and no other explanation. Not having these guidelines could result in the AI outputting also the reasoning for why it picked that post and maybe even elaboration on why it thinks this is a good personalization. And it would just look very messy if you would upload it straight into your email templates. So the structure of this prompt is pretty powerful because it clearly instructs the LLM on exactly what kind of sentence we want, ensuring the output feels natural, conversational, and engaging for as much as it's possible. To give you an idea of the result, you can look at the output side. Uh, it outputted came across your post on LinkedIn, which is what we want to be static. We always want that to be the same. I was really impressed by how Symfony achieved a 5x ROI within just a few months with SaaS rooms. So if we quickly look at the input, you can see a few things. So first of all, it picked the first post, the one where Symfony transforms SaaS management with SaaS rooms. SaaS rooms is the company from the lead. As you can see, the company name is SaaS rooms. Lead's name is Philip, but that is not relevant in this case. So it recognized SaaS rooms is Philip's company, which achieved a success story with Symfony. And it decided to write something relevant about it, which I think is a pretty good use case of using personal LinkedIn posts to write highly relevant cold email openers. So by referencing a case study and also mentioning the company name of the lead, the email instantly feels somewhat personal, relevant, and has a high chance of getting some engagement back, which significantly boosts our response rates. One thing to mention, and what I think is great about keeping your prompt pretty concise, is that it allows you to easily tweak and adjust the prompt based on your specific use case, giving you complete control over the style and angle of personalization you prefer and you want to be outputted by the LLM. But what happens if our lead doesn't have any personal posts on LinkedIn? Well, as I said, not everyone is super active on LinkedIn, so it's important to have a reliable backup. And that is exactly what we have here. Instead of scraping the leads personal LinkedIn profile, we simply pivot to scraping the post from the company's LinkedIn profile. We again use the Apify LinkedIn scraper for this, just as we did previously in this workflow. But this time we replace the personal profile URL with the company's LinkedIn URL. Once scraped, we once again quickly verify whether the company has any original posts we can use. If yes, we pass these along for personalization, similar to the earlier step or the other path. If not, the automation moves directly to the final step, indicating that there were no posts at all. Having a fallback like this ensures we always have the highest chance of finding relevant content to personalize our emails, keeping response rates consistently high. In the case the leads company would have any recent posts available, we proceed with the exact same approach, letting a GPT node generate a personalized email opener, referencing the company's content instead of personal posts. The inputs here remain simple. We need their company name and the combined content of the company's recent LinkedIn posts. The LLM then has all the information it needs to generate a personalized and relevant opening line, ensuring the outreach remains engaging and authentic. As I already mentioned, there is also the possibility that there are no personal posts and there are no original company posts. If neither the lead nor the company has any recent posts, the workflow automatically updates the Airtable record to indicate that there were no posts available. This step just keeps it very easy for you to clearly see in your CRM, in your lead lists, which ones have been reached out to and for which ones there weren't any posts available to write a opening line about. By marking these leads clearly, you can easily revisit them later, perhaps placing them into another outreach campaign with an alternative approach. For example, you could generate a personalized line based on their industry, ensuring your emails remain professional, targeted, and still are somewhat effective. And that is exactly how you automate hyper-personalized cold email outreach using LinkedIn content. 
As you saw at the start of this video, this method is incredibly effective. It helped me achieve a 4.7 reply rate and generated nearly $400,000 worth of opportunities from just one campaign. Personalization at scale is not only possible, it is the single most reliable way to drive genuine engagement and grow your business through outbound sales. If you are ready to implement this workflow into your own outreach, you can download it right away from my school community. That is where I share all the exact automation systems, plug and play snippets and workflows I've personally used to scale my lead generation agency to over $80,000 per month. If you're serious about growing your business or getting into lead generation, make sure to check it out. As I mentioned, the link is down in the description below. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you found this valuable at all, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell notification to stay updated because I've got plenty more practical, actionable content coming your way. I'll see you in the next video.